Hey guys, it's uh, Gameplay Horizon here and uh, welcome back to Eternal Evolution. So today we will summon this uh, new hero, but before that, let's check first uh, the skills description of this uh, new hero. So let's uh, go to this uh, recruitment and uh, okay, we have here the new hero and uh, that is... My god, I love this centaur guys. I love this centaur, wow! Okay, oh, I love this, okay, Orthan. Okay, let's just check first the hero skills description of uh, Orthan. So first, we will check here the ultimate skill. So Orthan spins his glaive and creates a hurricane that pulls uh, nearby enemies towards himself, dealing damage equal to 30% of Orthan's max HP, and dispelling 50% of shields from targets. And in PvE modes, the volume of shield di uh, dispersion cannot exceed of 100% uh, of Orthan's max HP. Then Orthan makes a vicious cleave, causing damage. Take note that this cleave is an AoE damage, guys. Causing damage to all targets along the trajectory equal to 34% of Orthan's max HP and 60% 60, 60 chance depending on Orthan's accuracy. So we need here an accuracy. An accuracy that is maybe 50 to 100 accuracy that is already decent for this Orthan. And if we have 200 accuracy, that would be 60% times 2. So that would be over 100%, guys. So that is not good, I think. And uh, at level 3, we have your cleave damage. That is 38% of Orthan's max max HP. And this uh, cleave damage is different from this uh, dealing damage. Okay, equal to 30% of Orthan's max HP. So this is a hurricane damage. And the other one, that would be the cleave damage. Okay? There were two uh, skills on this ultimate skill, guys. And next, uh, we have here a talent effect. Targets hit by the skill have their uh, incoming healing and shields reduced by 50% for 6 seconds. And my god. Wow. Let's uh, check this out, guys. I am amazed of this uh, skills description of this new hero. And next, uh, that would be uh, exclusive effects. Hurricane Cleave Enhancement. Take note that we have here Cleave. When uh, the skill is activated, it increases the damage dealt by Winfer and Atlas Tank Heroes. Including Orthan's spirit, Ven Spirits of Vengeance by 24%. And take note, it stacks up to 3 times. So that would be 24 times 3. My god, that is almost 75%, guys. Wow, I can't imagine this. But uh, the skill kit of this uh, hero may be different from Actual. So let's uh, uh, try this on Actual, guys, after uh, this uh, reading uh, of these ultimate skills and also the common skills, including also the uh, passive skills. So next, uh, that would be the ru Ruthless Stomp. So Orthan stomps the ground, uh, dealing damage equal to 28%. And in this case, that would be 34% at level 4. And uh, Orthan's max HP uh, to all targets around him. So this is also an AoE and has a 60% uh, chance, depending on Orthan's accuracy, to knock them down. So as I've said, uh, 50 to 100% accuracy may be already decent for this uh, hero. And then uh, we have here the talent effect. This skill can stop charges. Wow. And the exclusive effects of this is that this uh, ruthless stomp enhancement, every time Orthan takes damage, he reduces the cooldown of this skill by one second. Wow. I love the skills description, guys. My God. I don't know if uh, on actual... Okay, let's try this uh, later on. Okay, we have here next, that would be the Demon Curse upon Death or Tan. Uh, instantly revive with 70% of HP. And uh, at level 3, that would be 90% of HP when revived. And energy, uh, and 200 energy, this effect activates one time per battle. And when HP drops below 70% for the first time, it enters the Guardian State and reduces all damage taken by 50%. And uh, we have here the talent effect at the start of the combat. Orthan gains a shield equal to 50% of max HP for uh, 12 seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> I was wondering what equipment uh, should we put uh, for Orthan. Maybe uh, a creative equipment. I will do some uh, test uh, to, on this uh, hero guys after this uh, video. So next, uh, the exclusive equipment. The uh, Demon Curse Enhancement after Revival instantly gains 600 energy. So... 600 energy means this is a full energy. So every hero has a gauge of a maximum of 600 energy. That 600 energy is the cap limit. Okay, next, uh, that would be uh, Spirit of Vengeance. Uh, during the formation of the squad uh, and during the battle or in Soul Ruby like mine, Orthan can be considered as an Atlas hero and can be considered also as a Winfer hero. When allied Atlas or Winfer hero die, 
their souls are transformed into spirit. So it does not specify here that tanks. So it says here Atlas or Winfer. You can use any other units here, guys. Uh, as I said, as the uh, skills description uh, says here. And uh, transform into spirit of vengeance. So spirits of vengeance will inherit 80% attack, defense, accuracy, and uh, damage increase, including damage reduction from fallen heroes and have 200 energy. So at level 3, we have your 100% increase. And the spirit of vengeance can last for 30 seconds and can be summoned up to one time per battle. And the talent effect of this is that at the start of the battle, for each Atlas or Win for Hero died, Orton increases its max HP by 5%. So considering if there are, for example, uh, 4 Atlas heroes, including Orton, that would be 5, uh, this uh, hero can gain up to 20%. Wow! <laughs> and next, the exclusive effects is that the Spirit Vengeance Enhancement. Spirits of Vengeance have a 600 energy. So this is a full energy, as I said, the 600 energy, and can be summoned up to 3 times per battle. My goodness! 3 times per battle! Wow! So guys, what do you think? Are these uh, summoned spirits can also be called as summoned units together with the summoner team? Let's, uh, let's find it out uh, after this, uh, guys. Okay. So anyway, let's uh, do the summoning. I have your 296 tickets. And okay, let's uh, do this, guys. Okay, that is 10. Let's see if uh, we can get... Uh, I need only uh, at least uh, 3 or 10 here. Okay, that is uh, 40 already. So 50... Give me Orthan. My God. We, we got some PT here. Okay. Take a look at that. Wow. Aha. The centaur is so strong. So Crit is a Minotaur, while this Orthan is a centaur. I thought that this uh, Orthan is a uh, Vanguard, guys. Okay. So let's uh, continue. Okay, that would be 70. 80. I need only 3. 90. My God. Okay, 100. Oh! 110. My God! 120? Holy moly! What is this? 130? Wow! 140? Give me one copy, please. Okay, my God. At 140, my goodness. That is 140, guys. Okay, 150. Give me another copy, please. 160? 170? Maybe... Oh, okay. So, get, we got... Three. We got three, guys. Okay. So, let's uh, return. We got the uh, 170. Take note. We already uh, summoned 170. And uh, let's uh, check this out, guys. So, we have here. Okay. Wow. We can collect this. What is this? Oh! My God! Wow! I love this! <laughs> oh, let's uh, collect this, guys. And uh, what is this again? Nice! Okay. Let's see. Okay. Another one. My God. They were giving out uh, those... Uh, uh, SP charge, guys. And, two, wow, my God, this is 240. Okay. Okay, let's uh, continue. And uh, maybe we can uh, buy some uh, of these uh, gene hybrids here. And also on this one, can we buy? Okay. Nice one. And, okay, let's uh, go back. Uh, we can evolve now Orthan. Let's go to this uh, hero here. Okay, we have your Orthan, guys. Okay, let's uh, evolve him. Okay. So uh, we already finished activating this uh, talents. Wow. And he has lots of HP, guys. So by checking here without an equipment, we have already here a uh, 3 million HP on Orthan without an equipment. And it says here uh, on this uh, strategy, we need here op opportunistic Hawkeye and also we have a uh, Vigorous. And uh, we need also here some uh, damage reduction. And the recommended heroes, okay, that would be Orthan plus a Pandemonium. Also, we have your Orthan plus a Carabine. So, I've tested Orthan on this Lion Storm uh, together with Pandemonium. And I only obtained here like a 67 million. So, uh, let's uh, try here without a Pandemonium. And these are the gears that I am using. On this uh, Womigon, I don't use here... Uh, critical gears so for Womigon and uh, later on maybe I, I will use and uh, on the starish I have here a sun signet gloves and some opportunistic okay this is only at the uh, immortal uh, one star next that would be a carabine I'm using here a full uh, sun signet set but uh, we have your HP uh, helmet and uh, HP boots and we have here some uh, crit damage uh, gloves and next that would be our canis still a legendary uh, 
uh, resonance set in a crit rate. Then uh, we have your Orthan, uh, crit rate loves, and we have your Sun Signet uh, weapon. And of course, we have your opportunistic. This is plus 100 accuracy. I only borrowed this from my uh, Pandemonium, guys. And uh, okay, we have here some HP also. So uh, anyway, let's uh, challenge this. And uh, I will be using here a manual battle for uh, Womigon. I need to control here a Womigon, guys. Okay, let's see if uh, how much uh, points can we dealt here using these uh, heroes. Okay, we can throw that uh, hard test now. We <laughs> can. Okay. Wow. So, if we will check here the damage. Okay, let's uh, wait for that uh, carabine first. If we'll check here the damage, take a look at the damage of Orthan. Uh, followed by uh, Tarish. I think Orthan, guys, is a mid-care hero. I don't know why. My god. Okay, let's. Uh... Okay, we got now 67 million. Let's uh, try this uh, Orthan on a uh, PvP later on. Let's see what would be the uh, performance of this uh, new hero, guys. Okay, let's just uh, throw them. And by checking here, okay, it's Obek who is dealing intense damage since we are using here crit type uh, tanks. Okay, let's just uh, throw them again. It's Orthan who, are, who is dealing here uh, intense damage file by uh, Atarish. Next, that would be Bomigon. And Carabine is the last. Okay. So we only dealt like. Okay, that is 70.1 million, guys. So that this is my second try. That is 70.1 million. Okay, let's uh, move to PvP and uh, we will test here our uh, tanks. Okay, we have your Jinx, uh, my friend. So, uh, he is using your hoe. Thanks, also. And uh, we have here, like, a 36% on this Atlas uh, faction. So, let's uh, use here our tanks. I don't know, really, what is the best uh, formation here for tanks right now. But, uh, let's just try. Okay, let's use here Masrani. He's using Masrani, and uh, we will also use uh, Masrani here, uh, our support. And also Canis. Okay. Okay, let's uh, try to use a uh, dual support here. And okay, let's put Orthan. Okay, we don't we don't mm, are we able to use here at Arish guys. Okay, let's try this one. This is five out of five. We have 36. We have also 36 here. So mm-hmm. Okay, let's uh, try this one. <laughs> I don't know if this will work. Okay, still we are using here some uh, crit type of, uh, Orthan. Anyway, that's okay. Let's. This is only a test, guys. And I will be using here, okay, Company of Heroes. And also, let's uh, replace this one. That would be our Revitalization Crystal. Okay, uh, let's uh, challenge. Let's see. That is 11.7 .7 versus 11.7 .7 million. So this is somehow an equal fight. Wow. So uh, by checking here, we have here, okay, pandemonium. Okay, our pandemonium is dead. My God. So where is Orton? Okay, there is Orton, guys. He has summons. Okay, we're dead. We're dead. By checking here, wait, we have only here 15.6 million for our Orthan. Wow, this is freaking insane. Okay, well, let's uh, try that again. Okay, let's see, guys. Uh, what if uh, we will use here uh, Masrani at the back? Okay. Oh, our CP here increased. Okay, let's uh, try this, guys. Let's see. Wow. Wow. Holy moly. Let's check. 
Okay, we have 18.4, 28.4 pandemonium, 13.7. Okay, Canis has... Wow, Canis dealt lots of damage also. Okay, let's uh, try that again. Uh, we have here... Let's find some uh, vanguards. Okay, this one. Let's try this. Okay, this is 10.6. We have here some vanguards. Okay, let's try this, guys. And uh, by checking here, we have your 27%. 27.2%. Okay, we have your 27.2. Okay, let's just try. Okay. So what if uh, we don't use here a Masrani? Okay, let's try not to use Masrani. Okay, no Masrani. Okay, let's uh, try this. I want to see that the Solomon's coming from Orthan. Oh. Oh. -ho. Wow. My God. <laughs> okay, let's uh, challenge this again, guys. Okay, let's uh, try this with the uh, Dark Infant. And uh, we have here a faction aura bonus that is 31%. Uh, 31.7% on Atlas. And... 27.2% on my end on Atlas. And he has here uh, Masrani and Purinizaki. So we don't have any Purinizaki here. But uh, let's try. And uh, maybe let's do something like this one. <laughs> okay, like this one. Okay, let's uh, challenge this. Let's see. My goodness. You're dead. Where is that Orthan? I need to see that Somons. Where are those Somons? There are no Somons. Okay, my god. Oh, how nice. Okay, let's not use here uh, Masrani. Let's try. Let's try not to use Masrani. Okay, that is 9.9. .9. Okay. Let's see the uh, algorithm of this uh, Orthan, guys. Oh my god. So without Masrani, <laughs> our team is obliterated. Uh, my goodness. Okay, let's uh, try that again. Without Masrani. Oh my god. Without Masrani, we're dead, guys. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. That is the first impression for uh, Orthan. See you again next time, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, my God.